extended time out there the other night against EKU? Uh, I felt pretty comfortable. I feel like the more that I'm on the floor, um, I'm starting to get a little bit back into the playing method that I was in before I got hurt, and it's feeling really good. What's been the toughest adjustment for you? Is it getting kind of back to it physically, or is it the mental aspect of actually being out there in a game situation? Uh, I think it's all really a mental adjustment for me, uh, getting used to playing with some of the players that I haven't really played with. Uh, I've only been on the court with them for a couple months, so I think that's really good for me to get to know them and how they play and their tendencies and stuff like that. How would you grade your performing against uh, Eastern? Were you happy with the way you played? Uh, not really. I give myself like a C minus. Uh, I think I have a few too many careless turnovers that I could have fixed, but other than that, it was a decent performance. What have you learned just from playing with Fresh and Darius? What are you taking from those guys? Uh, they have a lot of experience under their belt, so I mean, when they do some like small mistakes, I try to make sure I correct those, but they also help me in things that, like, if I'm not sure of something, I can go to them and ask them, and they can give me an answer. David, these guys have talked a lot about, right here in the back, have talked a lot about, like, adjusting to you when you're on the court because of no-look passes and different things. How much of this is worked on in practice with these guys, you know, getting used to how you like to play and just, like, your passing ability? Uh, I think it's... They, they're still not adjusted to it all the way yet, but I mean, but I guess we can build into that. But they, now that they realize that I'm really like a pass first person, they can get used to getting the ball from me. Is there anything that surprised you so far getting back into the flow of things, whether it's something you've seen in practice or, or a game? The uh, only thing that stood out to me really was the, the pace of the game, uh, like when there's no dead ball and it's just constant up and down and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like I need to adjust to that a little bit better, but other than that, everything feels the same. How, how much do you think the entry slows your progress down and where do you feel like you have to, to do to get back to where you were before the injury? Um, from a physical standpoint, I don't think it really sets me back that much just because of how much I've done, but I think it's mental for me to just get away from that injury and start to get back in a little bit of me like playing more and getting on the court and staying in that like mentality. Is it difficult, and Coach Mack mentioned it, difficult to kind of get into a groove or flow when you're only on the court four or five minutes? Uh, I say it was a little bit difficult for me, but that's one of the things that you have to adjust to. I mean, if you're out there, you better make the best of your time while you're out there. When you're at the top of your game. What do you think your strength is? Is it leadership, distributing, scoring, defense? What do you think it is? Uh, I think when I'm at my at the peak of my game, uh, delivering the ball and leading the team is uh, the best thing that I can do. Having pretty much grown up here and watched Louisville, this long, having grown up here and watched Louisville pretty much year after year, and now to be on the floor playing, if you ever had to pinch yourself at all, or has this just kind of been a natural progression that was was natural and normal for you? Uh, I think it's pretty normal for me. Like, I've always been the guy to, like, I like to stay where I am. I don't like to think ahead of things. I like to, like, think about, like, what's in the now and not in the future, so. You mentioned those couple turnovers that you weren't happy with the other night. What was happening there? Was there a common denominator, or, or was it just kind of mistakes in the flow of the game? Uh, it was just like me being a freshman, not thinking, and I mean, it, careless turnovers. I mean, I can't really explain it, but they shouldn't. Have, they shouldn't have happened. How important is it to get those out now and kind of get some experience before the schedule really tightens up here uh, with UK coming up and the ACC schedule coming up soon? Uh, it's really important to get like all that stuff out. I mean, I wish they never would have happened, but mistakes are going to happen. And now, going forward, then I know that I, those can't happen. I'll be a lot sharper when I'm playing and thinking about stuff like that. When you were injured, did you? I know it obviously didn't help because you were out and you wanted to be out there. But did you see things in the game that helped you now? Uh, you know, I know Malik said that when he was out, he saw things that okay, he learned things while he was out. Did you learn anything? Yes, I learned a lot of stuff. Like, when you're watching from the sideline, you see a lot of things that the coaches see and, like, what they don't like, and they'll come over and tell me, like, this, this, like, 
you need to correct that. I don't like the way he did that. So when I got out there, it felt a little bit more normal to me than it would have if I was on the court. David, I know that you guys are focused on this next game, but if we don't hear from you, looking ahead to when you guys play at Kentucky, it'll be your first time playing at Rupp since the state championship. What What are your memories from that, and how exciting is it to play on that court again? Um, my memories from that is winning a state championship, but I'm not really, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm not really focused on Kentucky right now. Is there any, you know, you guys were number one for a couple of weeks, now you're three. Um, any sort of easing the burden of being number one? I mean, does that enter into it? Uh, not really. I mean, I feel like none of us really paid attention to that ranking. I don't even think that any of us know what we're ranked now. Like, we don't really care about that stuff. We just want to win games. How did you keep your morale up the whole time you were out? It's a long time to be kind of separated from your team and just having to sit and watch while everyone else is out there. What did you have to do to keep your spirits high? Uh, making sure my teammates are happy. If they're happy, they're in a positive spirit, then I'll be happy as long as they are. Over here, uh, I was curious, how would you explain to somebody who maybe isn't familiar with your game, how, how did you develop kind of the court vision that you have? Would you say it was all just from playing and it was natural, <coughs> or was it from studying anybody in particular, any styles in particular? Um, I'd say I developed when I was younger. I was always the guy that was... Like, I would get in with the bench players and the guys that, like, didn't score as much when I was younger, and I would make sure that they, like, were getting shots up and getting the ball. Our team was up by a lot of points. So I think as I carried on throughout the rest of my life, like, I love delivering the ball to other people. Did you have a, a favorite play from the other night against Easter? Uh, not really. 